Thanks to the Ice Age and its glaciers, the Great Lakes Basin is one of the most beautiful, unique areas in the entire country with its numerous waterways. But beneath the waterline lies the history of the state of Michigan, and in many cases it sits in a pristine, almost Pompeii-like setting. Such is the case with the Alpena Amberley Land Ridge, a ridge which once connected Michigan with Canada and served as a fertile hunting ground for its prehistoric residents. Dr. John O'Shea tells us more about this fascinating location at the bottom of Lake Huron. We're looking at this time period known as the Lake Stanley stage, uh, when the lake levels were substantially lower than they are now. And we're trying to identify hunting sites, but also now occupation sites of people who would have lived on that, on that surface 9,000 years ago. In the last 12 months, we've, uh, we've increased the number of, of wood samples that we've recovered from the bottom, and we've gotten dates on them. Uh, which are consistently dating late 8,000, early 9,000 years ago. Um, we've found potential fireplaces. We've found evidence of flakage and microdebitage on sites. And we've also started going to the next step where we look at the season that they're being built. Um, many of these structures only work in, for movement in one direction, so we can kind of begin to fit what the season that people are using these sites are and kind of how many people are involved in the hunting activities. My guess is that they are, they're probably living in the lower peninsula of Michigan and that they're coming out to this ridge only to do hunting, that they're then leaving again and then probably coming out maybe on sled uh, in the winter to retrieve meat that's been cached from the fall hunts. But, so they probably have a pretty complex annual round and they only really go out to the ridge during that period when the, when the animals are actually moving. In this case where they're traveling down the Alpena Amberley Ridge, that's where they're going to be. So if you see a landform, you pick a good spot, you can construct a, a hunting structure there. You come back next year, you may elaborate it a little bit, you may make a second one in the following year, but I think you gradually then accrete these structures and they're in the right place. And if it's not going to work, you shift to the one that's going to work because you're gradually building them up over the, over the land surface. We, we have found microscopic bone fragments. We haven't found the large macro fragments. And, and finding them is going to depend on them having been put in, in some kind of cache or in some kind of hole in the limestone so that they don't dissolve from the acid um, that's there when this is above water. We simply haven't sampled enough of the bottom surface to really expect to get a good sample. We've been taking these little core samples and all the flakes and, and debris that we found has been in just these core samples. We have to move towards sampling a larger volume of the bottom, and that's when we should expect to find more fragments of bone, hopefully more, more stone, tool, stone tools and artifacts.